could be, but not that good. Uh, there we go. Oh, this is Team Shopo with... Oh, sorry, Sean Schneider. Uh, it's been a long day, so whatever. Uh, I played Guru Control, and I won the OTS. Uh, I'll go through decklist, max um, stuff, and everything else as I'm going through. Uh, I ran three Guru, obviously. Obviously. Um, if you don't know what he does, he flips and searches for any Subterra card, and you can basically do that every turn. This is why the deck gets good. Yeah, he is the only reason it exists. Also, he's a uh, he can target a monster and put that monster and him face down. If you have enough Subterra, he's a quick effect. So it's uh, really good against Subterra because you can like quick effect target, put him face down. Their turn ends. Um, three Phoenix is also why the deck's good. Phoenix is a hand trap that uh, you can basically recur every turn. Uh, and she negates anything spell trap monster effect um, and it's any card effect so you can even do like uh, something that's already active like if a Dragonic Diagram's on the field already you can negate it that turn if you feel that that's what you need to do also what a lot of people don't realize but it's also really good is when you normal summon it um, when you normal summon it you're going to uh, you can target a Subterror and put it face down and then summon a Subterror from your graveyard. So it's also Monster Reborn that helps you recur resources as well. I ran one Nemesis Archer. It was really good today. Um, helps spin back the Salmon great stuff so it's not in the graveyard. Spins back just anything normal. And it's just a giant rat, so it helped me got there when Guru wasn't there. Uh, one Umashrix. Umashrix was just phenomenal the entire day. Like, it's a 47 body. I ran over an Ultimate Falcon that I twin twisted. Uh, and I just kept banishing Mon. He's just really good. Uh, I would not cut it. And then I ran three Ash Blossom and two Effect Veiler. Uh, that's it for the monster lineup. Uh, spell lineup, three Hidden City. Uh, it is Trickstar um, Field Spell. When it's activated, it searches a uh, Subterra monster. And it can, once per turn, flip a face down Subterra face up. And then uh, when the opponent declares an attack and you have a face down Subterra, you can flip it and negate the attack. So I also was able to, you know, protect some of my stuff while I was building the board. Two Terraforming. Uh, three extravagance. Um, it's kind of necessary. It's it's not necessary, but it's really good. Uh, two pot of duality. A uh, card that I really liked all day long was Heat Wave. Uh, I started out going second most of the time, uh, depending on the matchup. But Heat Wave was just really good for giving me basically a free turn. Because if you don't know, uh, Hidden City can force Guru face up, and you can still get your search even though you activate Hidden City. Uh, yeah. Three Call by the Grave. Uh, and then one Cave Clash. Cave Clash, I feel, is really good in the deck because uh, its first effect doesn't really matter. Um, all Sub Terrors gain 500 attack and defense for every set card. It can come up, but it never did today. But the main part is uh, whenever you inflict battle damage with a Sub Terror, you can add back a Sub Terror card from your graveyard. Uh, next is on to Traps. Two Sub Terror Final Battle. This card is literally, it does whatever you need it to. And it's not even a hard once per turn, so if you have multiple, you can just... Like, I'll be like, activate, flip Guru face up, activate, flip Guru face down. It, it's really nutty. Uh, three Impermanence. Uh, it's just another hand trap. Two Strike and a Judgment for my Solemns. Uh, I cut Solemns down a little bit, um, just because I was having issues finding deck space, and it was the easiest cut. I'm already running a 42-card deck. Uh, Floodgates, I ran two Summon Limit, and two, there can only be one. Uh, these were both really good all day long. I sat them out for the matches I needed them to them out, but they were, it was just really good. Um, that's it for the main deck. Uh, onto the side deck. I ran three Gamma Seal. Uh, Gamma Seal was really for Salon Greats, because you can Kaiju their Link 2, and it's also for Sky Striker, which I didn't play today. Um, and it's just for any other rogue deck that like I might have issues. Thunder Dragons is also good to Kaiju the Colossus. Uh, Pranger Tops, I sided this in going second every single game. Uh, just against everything, it was really good. Um, Twin Twisters against Salomon Greats. I played Salomon Great three times today. Uh, I lost to one Salomon Great in Swiss, uh, beat a Salomon Great in Swiss, and then I beat a Salomon Great for top two. Yeah, so top four going into top two. Um, Twin Twisters just for any Alter Guys 2, uh, Sky Striker, any back row deck. Uh, three Gozen. This is for Altergeist and for um, Sky Striker um, and any other rogue deck. And then a three evenly. So, pretty simple. Um, 
straight to the point. It did. It was actually really good. I uh, can't think of anything that I needed to side. Um, maybe I will put cherries in for some or sunlight wolf in the future. Uh, onto the extra deck, three mermaid. Uh, most of the extra deck is just like. Here you go. Uh, mermaid in case someone gives me an Ibley. I don't really care about Ibley, but it's it's just there. Um, two Toad, two Madolche Queen Tiramisu, a Cosmic Fortress Golgar, a Borolod Savage Dragon, uh, Saryuja Skulldred, a Borolod Dragon, Mrs. Radiant, uh, Babuska, Boral Sword, and Phoenix. This is about the only card that I might go into, but uh, I didn't touch my extra deck the entire day except for banishing it with Extravagance. Uh, one thing I will note is there was a game today when uh, I drew... Uh, and I had two gurus just sitting there. I could have just flipped them up. Uh, I'm probably just going to put a cowboy in here just because I can fit it in there. Uh, but I could have cowboyed for game. Um, as far as matchups, I played Alter Guys, True Draco twice, Sound Great three times. I played against Orcus. I played against two True Dracos, actually. Yeah, two True Dracos. Uh, what was my first round? I don't know. <laughs> so God, like, it's hard to remember at the end of the day. Uh, but they were all pretty... Um, aha, Cosmo. Played Cosmo game one. Or round one. And I 2-0'd him. 2-0'd the True Draco game two. Or round two. Round three. What was it? I don't even know. But it, they were all really good matches. Um, I had a lot of fun. But yeah, I think Guru Control is one of the best decks in the format. Uh, especially if you um, like control decks. So... Uh, yep. Any shout-outs you want to do? Uh, I, actually, Cameron Del Monaco for letting me borrow the impermanences. So. Team Madolche. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but no, that's about all I got. All right. Well, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, and see you next time. Bye. So. By the way, if your extra knife has more than one joke card, at Atlanta, you're out. <laughs>